Let me give you the Omega 3 story because there's <coughs> a lot of confusion about the Omega 3. So in the omega-3, so we're looking at flaxseed, linseed, chia, it is high in an oil called alpha-linolenic acid. That's the fatty acid. Alpha-linolenic acid, ALA, has got three double bonds. Mm. So that's one, two, three. In the body, ALA is converted to EPA, epocetaonic acid. And it has five double bonds. So that's one, two, three, four, five. In the body, EPA is converted to DHA, decohexaonic acid, and that has six double bonds. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, very thin oil. And that DHA is used exclusively by the body for cell membrane function and repair. Can you see why God made it that way? so that all these changes happen away from the light, heat and oxygen. In the fish, the fish eat ALA. In the fish, ALA is converted to EPA. In the fish, EPA is converted to DHA. And then man extracts DHA, puts it into capsules, puts it in a jar on a shelf and says, oh, this is far superior because it's already as DHA. But if three double bonds are sensitive to light, heat and oxygen, how sensitive are six double bonds? Is it possible to extract it with no exposure to light, heat or oxygen and the fish that are the highest in DNA, DHA are the highest in mercury? And what's mercury? That's a neurotoxin. So I myself prefer to just grind the flaxseed use the chia and the chia you can mix it with water you can make some beautiful chia puddings you probably google chia puddings lovely because it goes to a jelly so it doesn't need to be ground like this one you just you put it in a jelly make it into a jelly so that's the omega-3 story I have a two-part question I'm over here um, the first part is, does omega-3 pass the blood-brain barrier and specifically DHA? And the next question, the second part is, um, I've heard that DHA is more effective or more absorbable than ALA. So I'm wondering, do we yeah. need more ALA or yeah. is there something can, in digestion? Can you see why that is so? Do you remember I showed you when you have ALA, it has to be converted to EPA and then DHA and then used. So this is what the marketers do. They say, this is much more accessible than DHA. But my question is, the DHA has six double bonds. How can they extract that with no exposure to light, heat and oxygen? But the body is well able to convert ALA to DHA. And yes, omega-3 does go through the blood-brain barrier, but the omega-3 is what the body loves to use exclusively for the membrane around the brain cells.